is that you always start with a little settling exercise mm -hmm. to settle our nervous systems and to connect more with our heart. So would it be okay if we if we stopped with that for a few minutes? Yes, we can do that. We'll do a little shorter version than the one that we're going to be doing all together at the beginning of each of the webinars when we do it, but it'll give a little taste. And before I do that, I also want to do I want also want to acknowledge the land that I'm that I'm blessed to be on here. Then that the traditional caretakers are the Chimicum, the Squalum, and the Coast Salish who continue now to care for the land and whose wisdom and instruction I always welcome because I so revere the indigenous ways of keeping everything together and nurturing it. It's very important and I have great sorrow over how we've treated our ind indigenous people and great, great appreciation for their continued presence in our lives. So with that in mind, let's just settle into our bodies a little bit. Just kind of notice how your how your feet would like to rest, perhaps on the ground, or if you're sitting cross-legged, how your body wants to settle. And then let's come into relationship with the earth. So if your feet are on the ground, just dropping your awareness down to our feet, we'll just drop down from there into the earth. And sense how our living body is dramatically and ongoingly connected to the living body of the earth in whatever way that comes to us. And just resting there for a moment, noticing that at times our minds run away because that's what minds do, and then we can just gently, gently bring our minds back again to feet and earth. Then from there, let's just draw our attention upward until we come to our bellies, which is the home of this remarkable brain that's the guardian of our safety, this, this belly brain that's always watching out for us and feels comfortable. We can just place a hand there and just arrive and listen, not seeking to change anything, but just being present to this brain. Now continuing on up to the area of our heart and chest. Again, I find it helpful to just place a hand there. You can do that if that feels, if it feels helpful to you. And then with this heart, knowing again, there's a brain there. There's a, a remarkable bunch of neurons that help us sense about how connection is for us right in this moment. And then let's bring our attention to the breath, our beautiful breath, just as it is right now, the in-breath and the out-breath. Just sensing how this flow is there all the time supporting us every moment of our life. Perhaps noticing how we breathe with the trees, that our exhalation is the tree's inhalation, the tree's exhalation is our inhalation. Just sensing the beauty of that flow.
And then on the next inhalation, on the exhalation, just inviting our awareness to expand into a bowl of receptivity that welcomes everything that's arising within our own system, sensations, thoughts, feelings, whatever is there, anything coming in from the outside world through the senses, and just welcoming it as best we can in this particular moment. Just welcoming all as best we can. And then from there, let's invite our awareness now to spread out to include everybody who's here with us today and everybody who will listen to this later on as we begin to come back into outer awareness again. Just gradually, slowly, slowly opening eyes and sometimes our bodies want to stretch a bit after being still as we come back into connection with each other. These transitions from the busyness of our life into being here together, sometimes a practice like this can really help. And then this opening into a kind of non-judgmental welcoming to me is the heart and the foundation of therapy. And so that practice can get us ready then to, to whoever is coming our way, whether it's our child or our client or us together here now with this sense of welcome. So that's why we end there. <laughs>